Hey y'all, it's Sarah with Giggle Learn back to, with you again to show you how to make this fun pop-up, light-up greeting card uh, for Valentine's Day or just to show someone that you love them. And all the materials that you need to make this card are available at the link below. Um, if you don't already have your kit, you can order one there. And let's get started. All right, so we're going to get started with our cards. I have an example one here for you. So you can see we have this little flap with our copper tape that when it touches onto the battery, it lights up our card. We also have the pop-up going on. And we're gonna start by working on the circuit, which you can kind of see underneath here. So we're gonna start with that piece. Let me get my example circuit. So this is what the underneath of our card you can kind of see under my heart here once it's is finished. We're going to start with this piece. So um, this is an example. So once we get this circuit completed, we can see when we're talking about a circuit, we need to create almost like a complete circle. And that allows the electricity to flow all throughout the circuit. If there's any break, as you can see, there is right here with my switch, um, then it won't, the electricity isn't flowing anywhere. But as soon as that circuit, that circle is completed, so we have copper touching the top of the battery, and we know that copper is conductive, meaning that it's something that electricity likes to flow through. It flows through pretty easily. So we have the copper touching the top of the battery, and then this copper is underneath the battery. So we have little electrodes coming through, across the metal of the LED, into the light, through the metal, and the copper tape back around to the full circuit. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So let me get a blank one. So you should have a paper that looks something like this. It does have the instructions on it, but most people don't wanna do that much reading. And sometimes it's a little easier when you actually see it in action. So we're gonna start with potentially one of the hardest parts here. So we'll get the worst over. So we wanna find in your kit, you should have a piece that's labeled A. It's this piece, it's the long, longest copper tape. You also have a B piece that's the second longest. Okay, so we'll set that B aside and we want the A. So copper tape um, is, just as you would expect, is metal that's been rolled nice and thin and it has a sticky back. So just like a sticker, it has um, backing on it so that it doesn't stick to anything until we're ready. Now what I recommend is that when you go to peel this, you just peel a little bit of the backing off at a time. If you peel the whole backing off, the copper tends, it's so thin it tends to curl up and since it's sticky, it can stick to itself and tear. So I recommend you just separate, which is can be the tricky part if you don't have nails, or even if you do have nails, you want to separate that backing from the copper and just do a little bit. And then what we're going to do is go down the appropriate letter. So we're on A with our longest piece. And what I do is just peel, take that little backing off and stick it on the part of this sort of railroad track parallel lines. And I just peel the backing a little bit as I go. So I'm gonna peel a little bit off and then smooth it down, peel a little bit and smooth it. The important bit here is to stop when you get here because we're gonna do something a little different. So once you get here to the bottom, you'll see this little tab here and the instructions say to fold it back on itself. What does that mean? So. We have this sticky side, so it's coming down here. I push it back over, this is the sticky side. What I'm gonna do is take this sticky side and fold it back over onto itself and smooth it. So I have a little tail. So the sticky sides are together and it's not sticky on either side of that because this is gonna be, remember, on our switch here, 
how this, when it comes over and touches the battery, that's what makes it light up because it completes that circuit. So we want copper touching the battery and copper on the other side. So it's full copper, copper on copper. So again, if this was that little tail, when I, after I smooth it down, I'm gonna fold it back on top of itself and smooth it just like that. Okay, so now what I wanna do is the B piece, which comparatively is simpler. Again, I'm just gonna peel a little bit of the backing, just enough to get it started. Oh, didn't quite get it that time. There we go. And we're gonna put that on the B line. Now, it's important to notice and you can see this in our example, we want these to stay parallel, meaning that they're running on the same um, side by side without ever touching. So if that copper were to cross, like if I was put the B on so that it crossed onto the A before it gets to the LED, it means it's gonna shorten my circuit and that electricity flowing all the way through is never gonna get to the LED because it's already bypassed it. So we want to put that again on our B line, like a railroad track, side by side, and smooth it as I go. If you sometimes you'll have a little extra here at the end. Mine's not too bad, so I'm just gonna put it down. But if there's more, if it goes beyond your circle, you can put it over the circle here. But if it goes, if you've got a lot of extra, you can just tear that off or cut it off. So but you want it to go on top of that circle because remember we're gonna sandwich that battery between the bottom copper and the top copper. So it gets copper on either side. Okay, now speaking of that battery, let's go ahead and get that out. So you could have, they'll look pretty similar. These are coin cell batteries. You could have different, it doesn't really matter which number you have. These are just different sizes for different purposes in the real world. For our purposes, um, as long as it has the three volt, that's gonna give us the voltage that we need. So it doesn't really matter which type it is. So I'm gonna grab one of these and we're gonna place it where the circle is. And now what we wanna do is get a little bit of tape and we wanna um, tape this battery down such that the copper can still, we need metal to metal contact. So the copper is gonna touch the metal of the battery here and the middle of the battery on the back is gonna touch this copper. So you couldn't curl this tape over and stick the battery on, that wouldn't work. What we wanna do is, if I kind of hold this down to show me where that's gonna cross over, I'm gonna tape it on the edge here and maybe kind of underneath to kind of make a pocket so that we still have metal to metal contact. As you can see in our example circuit here where my tape is coming across, but I still have metal to metal contact. That's what allows this to light up. If I put it on where the tape is, no, no light. Because the tape would block that metal to metal contact and the electricity from flowing. Okay, so we've got that taped on. Now we need our LED. And you could have an LED that looks like this or one that looks like this. It doesn't matter. Um, even though the light is clear on, on these, sometimes they are actually colored, like this is a red one. So I'm gonna use this guy. And you'll notice what, of the leads, one of the leads is longer, slightly longer than the other one. That is because when we're talking about LEDs, these are light emitting diodes. Diode meaning that um, all diodes, some diodes emit, like, um, emit light, not all of them do, but all diodes only electricity to flow through one way, they're polarized. So whereas some electrical components allow electricity to go positive to negative or negative to positive, it doesn't matter, but it does matter with diodes. So that long leg is the anode that's the side that needs to go towards the plus. That's the positive side of our circuit. And the smaller leg is the cathode. 
that's gonna have to go towards our negative, which is the back side of our battery. So that's where that negative is connecting through that copper tape here, and our positive is connecting through our A for anode tape here. So we're gonna kind of split those legs gently, the little leads. And now if I push, hold this down here and connect my tape, ta-da, it should light up. If it doesn't, you might have accidentally switched these. So if you switch it over, then it, it should work one way or the other. But it should be anode side here, cathode side here. Okay, so now we need to secure this. And you can really actually put this light anywhere you want along here. If I connect it here, it'll work. If I connect it here, it'll work. As long as the short legs on B and the long legs on the A. So wherever you wanna place that, now we need to secure this down. So that's why you have two little pieces of tape, copper tape. So you wanna find those two small pieces. And then the important thing with this is you can see from our example, we are going to sandwich those LED leads between the bottom copper tape and a little piece of copper tape on top. So it's sandwiched in there, it's got copper all around it, so it can't help but connect. So we're gonna, um, again, peel this back. This is small enough, you don't really have to do that stick, but you can see how it curls on you if you're not careful. Okay, so when we put this on, the important thing is that we follow the same parallel lines. If I were to tape it across like this, I would end up short, shorting the circuit so that the electricity would never actually get to the light because it's always gonna take the shortest path. It's gonna circle through, never get the LED if I did it across. So I wanna follow on top of my little railroad tracks here, this little piece following the A line and then another piece to follow the B line. I need to split that a little bit more. And when I push down, it should work. If it doesn't, now is the time to fix it. Make sure you got it the right way. Sometimes you kind of have to push down on that connection to make sure that the copper is really um, touching one way, on one side or the other, and it connects. So that's our circuit. Now we want to do the pop-up part. So you should have a piece that looks like this. It's probably white, or it could be red or pink. Um, so what we want to do is, actually again, got instructions on the back is it's already got, I've already scored it for you, which is when you um, use like uh, pulled apart scissors or a razor or something to indent on the paper, that makes it easier to fold cleanly. So if we go ahead and do this is fold along, fold it in half along that score line and Crease it, just like if you're doing origami, you want a nice clean crease. Okay, and we're gonna open it back up. Now what we wanna do is where the little heart, where it connects on the side, is you've got a score line there too. And what we're gonna do is gently pinch that and crease it. You know, the same on the other side, we've got that score line. I'm gonna pinch that. Now you can see what's already kind of happening here is we're gonna have this part, the heart, is gonna fold out. Like so. So when I fold this card in half, the heart collapses in. Oh, we have this. So, and when I open it up, this is the side the recipient will see. My heart pops up when the card opens and closes. 
But, uh, so now all we have to do is I recommend if you're going to decorate on this part, like I have here, is, and I do like to use a hole punch. Sometimes that lets the light through a little bit. Um, that's an option. You don't have to do that. You can decorate however you want with your markers or crayons or color pencils. Sometimes it's easier to decorate it while it's still flat because once we glue this down, it's going to have our circuit behind it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens, how we glue it down and finish off this card. So you want to pause the video and decorate this. That would be a good idea. And then come back and I'll show you how to glue it down. Or you can glue it first and decorate after. All right, so this is what, how we're gonna connect these two pieces. So what we wanna do is you're gonna get your glue stick or glue and you want to, you know, get the edges really well. You wanna avoid that center area because remember that's gonna pop out. We also don't wanna get any glue on the little flap. That's where our switch is gonna be. So we're gonna glue the edges. Okay, and when I put this on, what I wanna do is make sure I get this little tail goes through my flap window so it's sticking out. I don't wanna trap that inside. And then I'm gonna stick this down and make sure I align this crease and this crease so it's gonna fold nicely. It should be pretty much the same size paper so that shouldn't be pretty simple. Okay, so now just the heart pops out and our little flap. So for our switch here, what I like to do is take a little bit of tape on the edge of my switch right here. Now again, remember we don't want to cover up too much of the copper such that it would not connect metal to metal. So we wanna make sure we just get a little bit. So I'm just gonna do the very edge here to hold it to my flap. And I can actually cut off that little bit of extra tape. So now on my flap, I just got a little bit of tape here to hold it on, but there's still exposed metal to connect with my battery. And then I can write on here if I want something so the recipient knows to push when they get the card. Now when you store it or mail it, you can leave that flap open when you close it and that way it won't be on and draining your battery when someone isn't enjoying it but when they open it they push it on all right so that is it i hope you enjoy uh, your card making and i hope your recipient enjoys it stay tuned for more fun videos of electric art